Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. I did say I was going to make a video just like this. And this video is to review the Joy-Cons for the Nintendo Switch OLED. Now, these are Nintendo Switch OLED Joy-Cons. And I can definitely tell you they're good. Now, I have had these Joy-Cons for over six months. I've had no drift with them, which is a positive. And here's the thing, a lot of people talk about the Joy-Con drifts and all that stuff with them. There's literally nothing wrong with them at all, at least for me. And they did say these ones for the OLED don't have any issues. And so far I haven't had any issues, which is pretty good. So the OLED Joy-Cons are pretty good. And I, they did say that there isn't any issues with them compared to like older Switches. They never... They never confirmed that they ever had drift in the previous Joy-Cons, but for this one, they did say that they solved the problem for drift. However, of course, I also want to mention PS5 controller, the one I use a lot. Now, the PS5 controller had a lot of drift and had so many issues in six months. So, if I were to compare you know the ps5 controller to the joy cons well when it comes to drift the joy cons won they're better no issues no problems the ps5 controller i got the l1 r1 the l1 sticks these buttons are sticking uh this is pointless but that doesn't matter drift a lot of drift continues like so much drift even every time i fix it it keeps coming back the L2 button is making some weird noise. So there's so many problems with the Joy-Cons. I got nothing. There's no problems with the Joy-Cons. So, you know, I definitely, I didn't want to make two videos comparing. So I'm kind of just doing a two-in-one. The Joy-Cons are better than the PS5 controller. In terms of performance and whatnot and longevity. The PS5 controller is not going to last long at all, I think. And in terms of drift. The PS5 had it in six months, Joy-Con, nothing. And it's been six months. So in terms of drift, PS5, Sony, whoever it is, they got to get it together. They did not do a good job developing these controllers. I think there's a lot of problems. And I definitely think the lifespan of these controllers aren't long at all. So I wanted to make this video giving you guys an update. You know, is there any drift? Have I experienced any drift? No. Has there been any issues? No. And yes, the Joy-Cons outperformed the PS5 in terms of drift and whatnot. Uh, both, I had the PS5 controller for a long time now, but within six months, it drifted a lot. This one, six months in, nothing. Hours, the same amount of hours, I protect them both. Now, the other thing I do is I always keep the Joy-Cons attached to the Switch. And um, I, I, put a, I use the same bag that the uh, Switch has, the Switch came with. And um, I also put it in a little duffel bag as you guys can tell. So I definitely keep it safe and I recommend doing this with your Switch Lite, your Switch and your OLED. Protecting them from dust is a must. So I bag the Switch by putting it in a bag and I put it in a duffel bag. And I recommend you guys do that too. With the PS5 controller, I put in the little, the bag it came with and I just store it in a closet. I recommend protecting these things from dust. I absolutely recommend it. And there hasn't been anything else on the Switch OLED, like the screen or technically anything like that. Um, I have to say that everything's been phenomenal with the Switch. I can't say anything about the PS5 console itself, but it has started making a little bit of noise for some reason, when PS5 games run, or certain games run, I could definitely tell the PS5 puts out a lot of heat. Now anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a little video. I did want to make it. Talking about the Joy-Cons. Talking about, and comparing them to the PS5. And yeah, they're good. There's no issues. I'm not noticing any drift. I'm not noticing anything. And I bag my Switch. I keep them attached to the Switch. I, I put in a duffel bag. You got to protect these things. So... Just throwing a lot of tips out there and info. I said I wasn't make this video and I did. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.
subscribe and like.